Good afternoon everyone, there's our latest video update on Typhoon Calmegi or Bagyong Luis and we are now watching the system move ever closer and nearing landfall now in the island of Luzon out here in the Philippines. Today is Sunday, September 14, 2014 and here is our afternoon update. It's about 4 p.m. right now local time in the Philippines and again the system is now nearing landfall it was last located approximately 140 kilometers east of the city of Ilagan in Isabela province or about 180 kilometers east southeast of the city of Tugegarao in the province of Cagayan maximum sustained winds according to the Japan Meteorological Agency are at 120 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 175 the Joint Typhoon Warning Center has slightly increased the wind estimates uh, from the agency uh, saying winds are now at 130 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 165, so slightly higher wind uh, maximum sustained winds from the J Joint Typhoon Warning Center. The system is currently moving west northwesterly at 20 kilometers per hour. And again, looking at the latest visible satellite image, you can see that central dense overcast. Uh, moving now ever closer to the island of Luzon and also some pockets some bands of uh, rains also impacting out here central and southern Luzon. The system has actually been battling moderate wind shear over the past two days which has limited the amount of intensification. Uh, usually the amount of uh, the warmth of the sea surface temperatures out here in the Philippine Sea and also the abundant source of moisture in the region Kalmegi has only been able to intensify to a Category 1 typhoon. And in fact, looking at the latest microwave image which peers deeper into the cloud canopy and looks at the core of the storm, you can see here that the system is trying to form an eye wall but is running out of time as it is now starting to interact again with the island of Luzon, which is good news because that will limit intensification. Uh, nevertheless, the system is still... A pretty powerful and pretty dangerous typhoon as it makes landfall and can still bring some torrential rainfall amounts and also, again, uh, the threat of strong winds, especially near the center of the storm. And speaking of rainfall, looking at the latest radar images from Pagasa, courtesy of Project NOAA, you can see some widespread bands of light to moderate rains moving across central and southern Luzon soon impact Metro Manila and the National Capital Region over the next two to three hours. And also looking much more to the north using the uh, radar in Apari, um, I'm sorry, the radar in Baler, Aurora, you can see bands of light to moderate rains associated with the inner core of Typhoon Kalmegi now moving inland. Associated with those bands of rains are also, uh, are also uh, gusty winds which will only increase overnight as the system makes landfall. Again, those stormy conditions will spread uh, westward into parts of uh, northern Luzon uh, tonight and early into tomorrow morning. For the latest radar images and rainfall forecast, click on the link below for Project NOAA's uh, website. Now, as far as the rainfall forecast is concerned, one of the computer models that we use, CoAMPS, is spitting out anywhere from 200 to as much as 500 millimeters of rainfall to fall in northern Luzon, particularly in western Luzon and also parts of the Cordillera provinces, uh, Kalinga, Payo, Abra Mountain province, Ifugao, those provinces could see some of the heaviest rains over the next 24 hours as the system moves across. Also parts of central and southern Luzon could also, con could also see continued rainfall as the system pulls in that southwest monsoon, as we've already been seeing over the past uh, two days around here in the region, we're expecting also another 100 millimeters over there. Again, the widespread threat of, uh, of heavy rainfall will definitely trigger numerous landslides as well as, low, uh, as, well as flooding in low-lying areas, so please heed the warnings of your local officials. Uh, for that as well. Now, after it crosses the Philippine, uh, the, the Philippines, uh, the system is forecast to move into the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea by early Monday morning, probably maintaining the typhoon intensity all throughout uh, the forecast period. And uh, looking here at the latest Joint Typhoon Warning Center's forecast, taking Kalmegi into a west-northwesterly track towards uh, southern China, perhaps making landfall in Guangdong province by, uh, say, Tuesday and into Wednesday 
as a strong category 1 maybe even a category 2 typhoon at that time and here's japan meteorological agency's forecast again showing kalmegi or bagyong luis crossing northern luzon tonight and into tomorrow moving west northwesterly across the south china sea or the west philippine sea moving well south of hong kong but may still impact the region with strong winds and also some periods of uh, light to moderate rains but uh, the core of the system is forecast to make landfall again in the province of Guangdong near the island of Hainan by Tuesday morning and perhaps into Wednesday affecting the region and eventually moving into uh, northern Vietnam but will weaken as a tropical storm at that point. That concludes our video update for this afternoon again just to recap everything Again, we're expecting Typhoon Kalmegi or Bagyong Luis to make landfall in about 3 to 6 hours in the Isabela Cagayan, or, uh, Isabela Cagayan uh, provinces, moving into northern Luzon, crossing the provinces of Kalinga, Payao, Abra, and then exiting into the Ilocos regions by early, to, uh, early tomorrow morning, Monday, and then into the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. Widespread heavy rainfall or will be the main threat from this system uh, and also parts of central Luzon and southern Luzon including the national capital region could see stormy conditions continue tonight and into tomorrow as well. For the latest updates head on to our website down below and also for the complete list of provinces under signal warnings which has been issued by PAGASA. Uh, click on that as well and as always stay safe and always see the warnings of your local officials and uh, we'll see you soon on our next update